Hello, I'm Jerry Roman coming at you from Phuket, Thailand. And suddenly everyone thinks the stock markets are going to plunge after four down days last week and a so-so day yesterday. And make no mistake that a stock market correction is coming. But the truth is stock market corrections are always coming. And as investors, we should be prepared for a 10% correction to happen anytime. So today we're going to focus on making money and take a look at four stocks that are on fire and two of them are nuclear. And of course those nuclear stocks are uranium and the pun is intended. Uranium stocks have been on fire because demand keeps soaring while the supply is falling. And if supply and demand was not enough to drive prices higher, Wall Street bets and Reddit are jumping on uranium stocks to give us more volatility and opportunities. And I'll tell you how I'm playing this. Let's start today with a success story from Jazz. I'm up 88% in Costco this year. I keep buying and pushing my trail stop up accordingly. Costco has a beautiful chart and Jazz, you are playing it to perfection. I expect Costco is going to pull back and when they do, you'll cash in on those profits. The beautiful thing about a stop loss exit strategy is we can let the stocks run to maximize gains. And when this train ride ends, we'll jump on another one. If you want my live trading alerts, custom indicators, daily hot stocks, and to follow all of the action, then check out my Patreon where our goal is to make you a better investor. All right, now it's time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. We're now in Think or Swim, and if you want to get any of my custom indicators, they're all available in my Patreon, and that includes my TOS bar, risk management, the Momentum Dream, custom volume, as well as my MACD labels that help things out. All right, all of the four stocks I'm covering today I already own, and our first one is Ontario Resources, ticker AR, and this is an oil and gas company. Now, the first thing I want to point out is global oil demand is to exceed pre-pandemic levels next year, and this comes from the OPEC cartel as they raise their forecast for 2022, citing a travel rebound. To me, this news is huge because I was not expecting the pre-pandemic oil levels to go up that fast. What does that mean? It means that once we get back to normal oil levels, I would expect there to be more volatility in the oil prices. So I'm expecting this nice oil boom that we've had on these stocks to end sometime next year. All right, looking at this stock, we can see in one week, they're up 1.5%. In one month, they're up a whopping 22%. And in six months, 64%. Our recommended trail stop is 13%. However, my current trail stop on this is at 8%. And I might even tighten that because I'd be happy to take the gains that I've got. On this current run, I'm up 13.8%. And what else do we have? Antero Resources, their revenue growth forecast is strong at 22.2%. We can see they've shot straight up. And this is what I call my too much too fast. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him go sideways or to pull back to that 20 day EMA. Looking at our momentum, dream indicator we can see the momentum is up we've got sell a covered call as a possibility because when we get a lot of up bright blue days like this it's very common for the stock to pull back and we've had a real nice run up here and stacked positive means that our Fibonacci moving averages are all stacked up and that's a very bullish sign for us and if we look at the volume we're at zero percent which just means that we're on par and average for how this stock has been trading over the last 30 days and if we look at our MACD we can see that we are positive which is good and these dark green bars mean means that it's fading a little bit. So this is something for us to keep an eye on. And truthfully, I wouldn't be surprised if I get stopped out on this soon. Happy to take those profits and move on. And now let's take a look at our risk management bar here. If you had a $25,000 account, the 1% rule would have you buying 120 shares, which is $1,982. Your risk would only be $250, and that's based on a 13% trail stock. Or if you were buying a maximum 5% of your $25,000 account, that would be $1,250. And what I call the golden question is, will I risk $158 and buy 76 shares for $1,256? Our target price would be $1,964. Our risk to reward ratio is 1.5, meaning for every $1 we risk, we want to return $1.50. And our profit per share would be $3.12. And this is if you were buying the stock today, this would be the numbers we're looking at. Our next stop is Denison Mines, ticker DNN. They currently sell for $1.63 and they were up 2.52% yesterday. Looking at our TOS bar, in one week they're up 15.6%, in one month 49.5%, and over one year they're up 260%. Their revenue growth forecast is 5.9%. Our recommended trail stop on this is 15%, and wow, their volume is up 349%. So that's looking at the last three days compared to the previous 
30, and my current profit or loss on the stock is 13.1%. Now, if we come over here and we look at the chart, we can see we had a buy signal, the JR1, right down here. If we look at our momentum dream indicator, a squeeze is always a great time to get into the stock, and we hit the buy zone during the squeeze. So this would have been an ideal time based on the indicator to get in, and then the squeeze fired on this green arrow right here, and it's been off to the races since then. And a few other things I'd like to show you. The purple and the white dashed line, these are our Keltner channels, and they're based on an ATR of two and three. And we commonly use the ATR two as our first profit target and the ATR three as our second profit target. And if you look at the history on this, you can see that it touched the ATR two a couple of times and the ATR three, but it has shot way past that level. And this is what we call too much too fast. And then we look at our volume and this could have to do with Reddit and Wall Street bets. The volume has shot straight up. So this is a great time for me to consider tightening my trail stop and getting out because many times after these volume spikes, if this is a short squeeze, they will come crashing back down and they will always return back to that 20 day moving average if we give it enough time. So now is a great time for us to consider selling and locking profits or tightening up our trail stops. A third stock that's been on fire is Navient Corporation, ticker NAVI. And if we look at the TOS bar in one week, they're up 1.9%. In two months, 17%. In six months, 77%. Our recommended trail stop is 5%, so not very volatile, and that's something that I like. Our volume is down a little bit. They've got a 2.7% dividend yield, and my profit and loss is currently at 17.3%, and I've got one of my trail stops set at 3% right now. Looking at our momentum dream indicator, our momentum is up. We can see that we were in a no buy zone right here, and we just got an uptick on the momentum, so this is something to watch. And if we go back into a green buy zone, I might consider adding more to this position. And we can also see that their revenue growth forecast is negative 28%. So they have declining revenue. So this is definitely not a long-term stock for me, but looking at the chart, it's absolutely beautiful. So I have no problem playing this from a technical standpoint. Now, if you were looking to get into it, our golden question is, will I risk $64 and buy 53 shares for $1,244? Our target price would be $25.28 and our profit per share would be $1.80. And this is where the risk management bar makes things really easy. We're talking about a $64 decision to buy $1,244 worth of the stock and it's based on a 5% trail stock and the risk management bar does all of the math for you so it makes it much easier for you to decide on your positions and everything can be customized to your needs. And our fourth stock today is UEX Corporation, ticker UEXCF. They're currently trading at 45 cents, and yesterday they were up a whopping 13.19%. Looking at our TOS bar in one week, they're up 17.4%. In one month, 81.9%. Our recommended trail stop is 17%. So for those sort of gains, that's actually not a bad trail stop. And just because it's recommended at 17% doesn't mean you can't set it at anything you want. If I was buying this stock, now, I would probably set it at 10% just because I like to risk less. Looking at our volume, it's up 147% and our current profit or loss on this position is 16%. And if we look at the charts here, a couple of things I want to show you. First off, we had a squeeze going on, which are these red dots on the Momentum Dream Indicator, and we hit a buy zone, and then just after that, everything took off, as did our volume. So the volume went up, the stock went straight up, and then that volume dropped, and look what happened to the price. It went from a high of 45 cents all the way down here to, what, about 22 cents. So it dropped 50% of its value very quickly. That's why I really like to watch the volume on these stocks to see what's happening. And here, it went up too much, too fast. It went outside of those Keltner channels. Here it's done the same thing. So this is a great time to either take profits or tighten up a trail stop. If you do tighten a trail stop up on a stock like this, you're likely to get taken out very quickly. Something for you to consider. And then we also have our bright blue bars. Everything is looking great on this one. But again, you don't want to overstay your welcome or you'll go from beautiful profits to half of that. So watch this and definitely consider taking your profits. All right, let's go over cryptocurrencies. We are now in trading view, and for cryptocurrencies, I had my indicators built out for trading view so I could use them here as well because in Thinkorswim, I can't do the cryptocurrencies. So the warning that I've got for you is we're going to look at four cryptocurrencies today, and using the Momentum Dream indicator right here, you're going to see everything is in a red warning zone. So our first one is Bitcoin, ticker BTC, and if we're looking at the daily, we can see that it started to come down here, had a big 
big drop last week. And what I like about my TOS bar, which we'll start calling the TV bar for trading view, is we can see in one week they're down 2.5%. In one month, they're down 5.1%. Over two months, they're up 18%. We've got all of our stats right here. But the important thing that I'm looking at on this is the recommended trail stop, and that's 13%. And this tells me what the volatility is. Now, if I'm buying or selling crypto, it doesn't mean I'm going to set a trail stop in it, but I want to judge the volatility, and that helps me with planning my positions and knowing just how risky the investment is. Now, if we're looking at the Momentum Dream Indicator, we can see we had a squeeze going on here. It went into a buy zone. It was really short-lived. It went up a little bit. Then we hit our warning zone, which is a good time for us not to buy, and that's the zone that we're in right now. And then we also have our risk management bar at the bottom here, and this just helps us with planning our positions if we were looking at buying. And right now, I've got this set to a $100,000 account the 2% rule, and it tells me how many I could buy. Or if I wanted to use the 5% rule, it tells me exactly how much Bitcoin to buy. Everything is broken down where it's easy to understand. Our next one is Ethereum, and here we can see our trail stop recommended is 19%, so that tells us Ethereum is more volatile right now than Bitcoin. Our volume is down 24%, that's very helpful, and we can see right now we are still in a warning zone or a no-buy zone, so I'd recommend holding off. And on Bitcoin and Ethereum, these are the two big coins. All of the rest I consider to be altcoins. Up next, we're now looking at Cardano. And what have we got here? Well, you can see we had a warning zone for this whole time frame. And look, if we would have followed this right up here at the top, we would have gotten out here and it would have saved us all of this heartache. Our trail stop on Cardano is 27%, so we can see our volatility just increase. And again, we've got our risk management if we want to use that as well. And our last one is Solano, and this is one that I took some nice profits on, and you can see we're on the downswing right now. Uh, we had a buy zone right here, which was beautiful, a nice upward movement. We hit a warning zone right here, and that's where we are still heading down. So I'm currently watching all of these, but I'm not jumping onto any of them. I'm waiting for the technicals to change, and that's when I'll consider getting back into it. And of course, our trail stop on this one is 30%, so it really helps us measure that volatility. And if you are interested in my trading view indicators, I've got a link for you down below in the description. Our question of the day is, what do you think of Wall Street Bets? Well, Wall Street Bets are a group of people who enjoy talking about investing on the social platform Reddit, and they are probably best known for promoting short squeezes. While I find there is too much noise with the group, when they do come to a consensus on smaller market cap stocks, wild and crazy things can happen, and we've seen that with AMC, GameStop, and a few other stocks. For me, the perfect setup is when I'm already in the stock and Wall Street Bets gets behind the stock, and that's the position a lot of us are in right now with Uranium stocks. In fact, Act, we have a dedicated Discord channel to the uranium bull market, and we've been watching uranium for months. We even have a few uranium experts in the group that are crushing it with insane gains right now, and they have earned it with all of their research that we share and discuss. As always, thank you for watching today, and if you want my indicators, hot stocks, and trade alerts, check out my Patreon and a few of my other links down below for some great free stuff from Moomoo, Tip Ranks, and BlockFi. And if you enjoyed my video, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Peace, and I'll see you on the next video.